Hey everybody, guess what time it is. We are going to do a grow challenge. Originally, I was just going to do this tomato rocket. But I went back today and I seen that they had this tomato that, it's a grow kit. It says it includes pot, seeds, growing medium, and instructions. So, we're going to put this against this and see what happens. Are you guys ready? We're about to get dirty. So the first thing I'm gonna do is I'm gonna open my pots. I went and bought some more of these because man, these are really nice pots. And they come with, because they're a little smaller than the pots I have in the, in the um, bathroom. And they come with these really neat uh, little deals that you put in the bottom to help give it a little space for water drainage. So I have my pot for my tomato rocket. And the first thing we're going to do is we're going to look at this one. It says it's a non-GMO, 100% um, natural seeds. And on the back is some instructions. And yes, this all came from the Dollar Tree. And it says that we have to dissolve growing medium pellet in a third cup of water with and fluff with a fork and fill pot with growing medium, leaving approximately half a just space at top. Compress the dirt to provide a level surface for seed paper. Lay seed paper flat on top of the growing medium. Use spray bottle filled with water. Um, I don't have a spray bottle. This is what it looks like. And the pots just got holes in the bottom, so I'm going to need something underneath there. We have a uh, soil cake. And we have a paper with seeds on top. Look at all those seeds. That is a lot of seeds, guys. You see all those seeds? Turn it over so you can see them better this way. That's a lot of tomato seeds. So, okay. Um, I guess our first step is to dissolve this in three quarters cup of water so i'm gonna pause you while i get some water i have three quarters of a cup of water and it just says to put this in here and it dissolves pretty quickly i'm going to assume that this is going to suck up all that water Oh my goodness, it did. Look at this. I still have a hard lump in the middle. That is extremely dry, guys. You can't put a plant in that. That was really quick. I expected it to take a lot longer. There is still a lot of very, very dry um, potting soil in here. Okay. Actually feels wetter than it looks. So, I need to have something underneath that. Let's go ahead. And get this in here. Hmm. Okay said half an inch from the top. I guess we do have room for the rest of this. I'm 
going to spread this out evenly like it says. I'm going to set this aside. And then here is our seed paper. It didn't say which way to go up or down. I'm going to press this on here. I'm supposed to spritz this with a spray bottle, but I don't have a spray bottle. So we're just going to do this. Still feels really really dry guys all right I'm gonna go ahead and cover with this plastic wrap I will be right back with the plastic wrap all right let me find a way to close that because I have an issue with plastic wrap. Plastic wrap and me don't get along. Let me just tie that down. I have so much electricity in my body that I take the clean out of plastic wrap. So I'm just going to tie this. like that and we have tomato plant one now let's see what the rocket plant is all about it has directions on the back which say the secret uh, patent pending growing technology used in commercial growing hothouses grows multiple plants with minimum space uh, indoors plant is shown in illustration Place one tomato rocket in loosened soil and make sure soil is at top rim of tomato rocket. Thoroughly soak with water, then water twice daily. Do not let dry out. As seedlings appear, add water once daily to keep moist. Okay. Here we go. Let's see what's inside of this. We have a orange baggie. Um, I don't know. I was expecting it to look like something round. This is um, squishy. Squishy and dirt. All right, I guess we have to cut this open. And I have my old scissors so they're not wanting to cut. Okay, so this does not look like what is in the picture at all. Um, that's the picture. This definitely does not look like that. Um, okay, so, all right, let's, uh, do I lay it like this? Do I go like this? Well, let's see. I don't see no seeds, guys. All right, let's go with it. It says loose soil, so I guess we'll just start with the seed starting soil. Let's do that and get me, probably going to need a better pair of scissors than this. Because it says loose soil. I'm going to put a little in the bottom. And it said, well soaked. Hmm, okay. Hmm. 
This is not going well. <laughs> um, guys, I'm having a terrible time with this. I'm supposed to do what? Place tomato rocket in loosened soil. Make sure soil is at top rim of the tomato rocket. Thoroughly soak with water. Then water twice daily. Okay. So we need to go higher. Whoops. So my rocket thing is at the very top, and we're going to go ahead and thoroughly soak. No, this is not working very good. Uh, I'm going to make such a mess, guys. Okay, so this potting soil is not absorbing water. The water is just setting on top of the potting soil. I kid you not, it is just setting on top of the potting soil. Do you see that? It's not soaking in. I can't even stir it in. Okay. Pausing you for a second to see. But this is not soaking in. This is an epic fail. I'm taking this uh, out of there. This, this is too small. Um... Here is our rocket. This is a Dollar General pot that I got out of the dumpster. One was broken in the case, so they threw the whole case away. I'm not worried about the tag. Um, this soil will not absorb water. So, we're going to add some of the garden potting soil also from the Dollar Tree. I don't know if you can see that bag. It's really big. And it is a nice moist soil. Sadly we're going to get dirty guys. I wasn't kidding. Oh my goodness. I wanted to mix some of this uh, other soil in with it because this is such a heavy soil that I'm putting in here. So I'm going to add some of this potting soil in and kind of stir it up a little bit.
Okay, so I have this one just like that, and the, the, the whatever you call this, is quite wet. But I'm going to go ahead, and I'm going to add a little more, because it did say to soak it. And I will add some of this drier stuff to the very tippy top. And I will add a little more water. Let's see if that helps it soak up water. Probably not. The water is just running right straight through it and soaking into the, the dirt underneath it. Okay. Well, that was kind of a bit of an odd. Um, it definitely does not look like the um, picture. It does not look like that. It is really long, so you definitely need a tall pot. Um, I do plan on transplanting this into a bigger pot outside once it starts to germinate and grow seeds, uh, grow plants. Um, hold on a second, I'm gonna clean my mess up. Okay, so I cleaned up my mess. It was driving me insane. Um, so what we're doing is we're putting the tomato grow kit, which comes with a pot and the little dirt thing. And you dissolve it in a little sheet with seeds that you can visibly see um, that you have to put saran wrap over top of. Very simple, very easy to put together. And we're putting it against this, what I thought would have been very easy to do, the tomato rocket. Um, not so easy. And it definitely does not look nothing like the picture on the back. I mean... That looks very short. Uh, what you get is ex about twice that length. Um, and that kind of threw me off. So we're going to put these two against each other. See which one of these two grow better tomatoes and which one of these two produce quicker. This one here has to be watered um, once a day now that it has the plastic wrap over it. This one here has to be watered generously twice a day. Um, and that's pretty much all it says is to make sure soil is a tap. Um, soak with water, then water twice a day, and do not let dry out. And as seedlings appear, add water once daily to keep moist. So, there we have it, guys. Let's see which one of these comes First, and which one produces better tomatoes? I personally am looking forward to some good Italian pasta with uh, roasted tomatoes in it, guys. Are you ready? Let's grow some tomatoes. Bye, guys.